Well, hello everybody. Look what we got right here. Sequoia, the first beta running Hackintosh. There are some issues and we'll get into that. Okay, but I want to show you what motherboard I'm running on this. It's a Gigabyte Aorus Elite Z790 AX DDR5 memory and uh, installing works just like it does if it was Sonoma 14.5. And so everything booted fine, but we do not have Wi-Fi and we do not have Bluetooth, okay? So of course, those guys that build the kecks that we need are, um, I'm sure, working on that to get it working. But uh, for all of you that are worried that a Hackintosh is dead, well, here we go. Now, if you look here, I am running a Radeon RX 560. I test. I did do a test on an RX 460, and it still works and gives us, uh, you know, transparent backgrounds and everything else. So we're good there. And there's some exciting news. All right. Let's get into this video real quick. All right, guys, here we are. Um, if you've been to my website lately, there's been a couple of changes. I'm no longer publicly selling um, the complete PC. It was just too overwhelming, too busy. And um, but you can still get your. You know, motherboard, you can send a motherboard to me. Um, and we can get, you know, everything installed, Mac OS installed for you, and then send it back. I still have motherboards with uh, Mac OS already installed. So those, there are still a few of those left. And um, purchase EFIs right here. Um, this is where you purchase your custom EFI folder. Now, the reason I changed this and didn't have a bunch of uh, just a list of EFIs to buy is because I wanted them to be completely up to date. So when you order an EFI from me now, you get a complete up to date um, EFI, you know, built on the latest version of Open Core, has the latest text in it. Everything is up to date. So you're not buying something that's been on my website for a month or something and then, uh, you know it's not as as current as it should be um and then uh on the sonoma 14.4 plus uh, as far as installing mac os that still seems to be an issue um we do have the latest version of this is very exciting news we do have a stable version now uh, for Sonoma 14.4 higher text that we can use. Um, but what is more exciting is if you come down here and grab this text instead of this, you would use this by itself. And then you use a, pro a program called Heliport. Then your eye services will work on Sonoma. So that's a cool thing. I have tested it. And the heliport, you can get, you can click right here to open Intel, and you can go here um, to get the latest version of heliport. Now, heliport is a program. So, in order for you not to have to double click on heliport every time that you boot your machine, like this, I'll show you. So it'll be it'll come up as an application. You want to go ahead and put that thing right into your login items. OK, so when you log in, click here to add it. You go down here and click heliport and then open. So every time you boot the computer, it's going to start heliport automatically. So you don't have to worry about doing that. And that way your Wi-Fi will always be working. 
but you can get your eye services now with that new text. Okay, it's not a new text, it's just the new version of that text. Okay, so there we go. Now, if we go back to here, you'll notice that there's nothing in here, of course, for Sequoia. Now, these guys are geniuses. They will come up with a way to make our Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Bluetooth also is not working, as you can see right here with the current Kex. Um, so we're going to, of course, be getting into that. We're just in the super early stages of running Sequoia on a Hackintosh. So they'll get all of those things worked out. I do, as you can see here, I am on uh, my LAN cable and everything is working fine. Um, audio is not working as of yet uh, because they need to update the text. But what is strange is you can't see it here because I'd have to unplug it. But uh, HDMI audio does work. Okay, so that's good. Um, you know, we have a couple little issues that I've noticed is that when you restart the computer, um, sometimes, not every time, it'll get stuck, okay? And I'll show you that right here. Now this uh, right here, guys, is something that happens... Sometimes when you restart the computer, you'll get stuck on these lines. And uh, the only way that I have found to get around those is to just do a reset. So I'll go ahead and reset the motherboard. Okay, and then let's see if we get a boot with that. But this is, you know the first beta of Sequoia. So it's pretty amazing that here we are running it on a Hackintosh. Let's see if it goes past it now. It's happened to me a couple of times, but no big deal because I just do a reset and it normally goes ahead and boots up. And there we go. So if you get stuck on that, don't worry about it. Just uh, do a reset on the motherboard and usually comes right back up. All right. Okay. So in doing the, the reset on the, com on the motherboard or computer, you know, you can get by, get past that uh, little stuck section. I'm sure that will go away as um, Sequoia gets, you know, new program updates and everything else. So I'm sure that kind of stuff will go away. And of course, Open Core will work on issues like that. Um, but here we are. We are running Sequoia with a transparent bar, with the internet. And this is the first version of Sequoia. This is a beta, of course. It just came out uh, yesterday. So um, I'm really excited, you know, for all the naysayers that say Hackintosh is done. Uh, I don't think so. Not not at least uh, for this next iteration. So, um, but as far as features and things like that, if you uh, go on YouTube and, you know, Sequoia, Mac OS Sequoia, they show you tons of new updates that uh, they did for, um, Sequoia, which is cool, uh, more features than anything else. It kind of, at this point, it looks kind of the same as far as um, system preferences here, um, software update, um, you know, just everything, energy saver. There's nothing like, oh, wow, look at that. You know, it's pretty much uh, looking the same. Um, I downloaded because uh, it's my favorite browser, Firefox, and it just installed normally, no problems uh, with the latest version. I will, of course, continue to update you on what's going on with this uh, 
the new Sequoia. I'll keep you updated. And uh, we'll just continue on uh, for now. But don't install Sequoia yet <laughs> unless you're just playing around and having fun because you're not going to have audio and you're not going to have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth right now. But it's very promising, isn't it? So I just thought I would bring you guys up to date. As I always tell you, I want to keep everybody in the community in, in the loop. And uh, if there's any major changes, I will definitely get into it with you. As far as the install goes, it's pretty straightforward. Um, to make the uh, USB stick, you can find out ways to do that online. If not, you can email me at uh, right here on my website. And uh, I can uh, send you some information on that. But uh, it's pretty it's pretty exciting. And the install did go pretty much as normal, pretty much like uh, Sonoma. So nothing like earth shattering there. But let me see if I can reproduce that error. And we'll see if it does it again on a restart. Okay, here we go. Sorry that it's green. That's my uh, screen capture device. But let's go ahead and hit it. Well, didn't do it that time. So um, enjoy, guys. Hang in there with your Hackintoshes. We're having fun with this stuff. All right, we'll see you on the next video.